Hey guys! Okay, so what we're going to be going over is we're going to be reviewing how to set up a circuit as well as how to measure the current and voltage for different components of a system. In this lab, you're going to be doing four parts, okay? You're going to be doing light bulbs in series, so a circuit that has three light bulbs all connected. You are going to be doing one with resistors in series, so one that has three resistors all connected in series. And then you'll also be doing light bulbs in parallel. Note that in parallel there are alternate ways for electricity to flow. There's not just one path, there's multiple paths. And then, of course, resistors in parallel. So I wanted to just review with you guys how to collect all of these measurements. How to connect, collect the battery voltage, the current in the circuit, and the bulb voltages using the multimeter. So I have our first circuit set up here. This is a circuit made of two batteries. Note that the batteries go minus plus minus plus. Make sure they're set up this way. Um, if they're not, then your circuit won't work out properly. It has a switch so that I can easily turn on and off the circuit. Okay and one light bulb to start with. So first, I'm gonna measure the battery voltage. The battery voltage is the voltage across the batteries. I have two D batteries here, they're both 1.5 volts, so I expect the voltage to be about three volts. So I get my multimeter, I turn it to volts, I make sure that it is in, oh, right now it's in AC, you want to press the select button to change it to DC. Okay, it should be in volts. The red thing should be connected where the V is. Okay. Whenever we're measuring the voltage, I do want the circuit closed. Okay, circuit is closed. It's in DC volts. I can zero it out. And then you just touch the leads across the terminals of the battery. So my first battery is connected over here. My second battery is connected over here. And I got 2.42 volts. So a little bit less than three. These batteries aren't brand new. So that is exactly right. That is my battery voltage. Okay. Go and collect your battery voltage. Now, very similar procedure, same settings, DC volts. I'm going to collect the voltage across the light bulb. Okay, so I connect these across the terminal where the light bulb is. And I got 2.27. It doesn't matter if you collect it here or I could go even closer to the light bulb and do it here, 2.12. 2.2. They should be pretty similar. Um, either way that you do it is going to be fine. Just make sure you're consistent. Okay, so if you're always connecting it across the terminals, always collect it across the terminals. Okay, and that is the bulb voltage. Okay, again, that's the bulb one voltage. In the next part of the experiment, we will actually be connecting two light bulbs. Okay, and when you have two, you'll do your bulb one voltage and your bulb two voltage. Okay, so each time you're connecting it just across one of the bulbs and that will be your voltage. But I forgot to collect the current for my one bulb circuit. So, remember, in order to collect current, first you have to break the circuit. Okay, so the switch should be open. Then I need to put the multimeter in DC amps. So I'm going to switch this over to amps. When I'm in amps, I also need to move the red lead over to where it says 20 amps. And right now it's in AC. I need to change it to DC. Now it is in DC amps. 
so I can measure my current. In order to measure the current, again, you make sure the switch is open, and then you use your multimeter to complete the circuit, forcing the electricity to flow through here. So again, you can either do it directly on the terminals of the switch. Note how the light bulb lights up. Oh, and I got a negative sign. That just means my, light, my leads are switched. So about 0.45 amps. I could also just do it across the terminals where the switch is. I still get 0.45 amps. It doesn't matter which way you do it, just as long as you are forcing the electricity to flow through the multimeter. What I don't want to see is a closed circuit and then you short circuiting it. See how now I'm getting only about 0.24 amps? I'm getting a lot less current flowing through the resistor. So make sure that there is only one path for the electricity to flow and that flow is through the multimeter. Okay, So that is your one circuit thing for the very beginning of this lab. Okay. When you go to part two, you're going to repeat all the same measurements. So you'll have to change it back to voltage, make sure it's in DC, and you'll make the battery voltage, bulb one, bulb two, and current measurements for the two bulb circuit. And then you will do the same thing for the three bulb circuit. Okay. No, this is three bulbs in series. In parts three and four of this lab, you're going to be doing measurements of things in parallel. So I want to real quickly just show you what the circuit would look like if it were in parallel. Okay. So I'm actually just going to do a two bulb circuit in parallel just because of how I have it set up. Well, no, I can make it a three bulb circuit in parallel. Okay, so the trick is in parallel, there has to be alternate ways for the electricity to flow. Okay, so right now, all of my bulbs are in parallel. So my electricity, it can go through there, and then I'm going to give it some options. Okay. It can either flow into this light bulb or over to this light bulb. And then it can flow into this light bulb or over to this one. And again, making sure that we're always completing the circuit. Okay. And see how my light bulbs aren't lighting up? That means I did something wrong. Oh. Then short circuiting it. Because I want my batteries to flow. I don't like the way that I have this set up. It's confusing me. Oh. It's easier if you set it up this way along the board um, to start with. But there we go. I cheated a little bit. So you have the batteries here and then each of the light bulbs in parallel. But the main key, the main thing that I want you guys to see is that there's a, this branching. Okay, So it flows in and then it can either flow to this bulb or onto this one. And then it could flow in here or there. That's the difference between series and parallel. In parallel there are multiple options for where the electricity is to flow where in series, there's only one path for the electricity to flow. Okay, and remember to be changing the settings of your multimeter. Make sure it's always in DC. If you're measuring voltage, you want it on volts and volts. If you're measuring current, you want it on current and current and DC. If you get a negative number, just take the position of your leads and switch them around. Okay, cool. Okay, cool.